Afna Shafir, many congratulations to you for your wonderful uh, selection. Uh, where you gonna do your PhD in space science and technology major that you wanted to do in the US with full full scholarship. So where did you get selected? Tell me about the uh, name of the university. Uh, I got selected at Florida Institute of Technology mm -hmm. uh, at the Center for Aerospace, Physics, and Space Science Department. Okay. Uh, for fall 2024. And many congratulations to you. And what about your uh, financial award? Uh, my uh, for fi uh, for nine months, I got a financial assistance of almost sixteen uh, thousand uh, dollars. Apart from, I think that will cover your uh, tuition waiver along with medical yes. insurance as well. And I know yes. you are waiting for I twenty and will move on uh, towards the visa processing once you uh, receive yes. that. Okay, yes. so we're gonna have this discussion of now. So okay. tell me from where you come. Your your high schooling, your academics, undergraduate, and masters, and what what you have been doing so far? Uh, I did um, till my tenth. I studied at uh, International Indian School, uh, Dhamam, Saudi Arabia. Okay. Afterwards, I uh, shifted to Kerala, India, uh, where I studied my high school uh, uh, at Chavasim. My hometown is Kerala, uh, India. I mean, uh, name of the place? So, uh, it's Kolla. 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 Oh. Kolla. All right. Yeah. Uh, then after my high school, after plus one, plus two, I studied uh, BSc Physics from St. Gregorius College, mm -hmm. uh, Kollam only. Okay. Then I uh, took a PG from uh, Mahatma Gandhi University at St. Albert's College, okay. Ernaulam. Mm -hmm. And I secured the college first rank. Right. Afterwards, I did a uh, project work for mm -hmm. one and a half years yes. uh, with one of my professors. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Tell and me about your, your thesis program. Uh, my master's work? Yes, yes. Uh, for my master's, I did a work with uh, Dr. Grandi Kishore Kumar, sir. He's from Savitri Bhai Bule Pune University, Pune State oh. University. Okay. And uh, we worked on uh, atmospheric dynamics. All right. What you work on? What you learn? Uh, I learned quite a lot of uh, uh, computer programming. Okay. That was the uh, main focus there because uh, programming was just uh, like only the theory part we had done for our masters. But uh, when it came to our project work, I learned a lot of uh, in practical work. I learned a lot of uh, programming. Okay. And afterwards, when I changed to my project work with uh, my professor, Dr. Krishna Gumar, sir. Okay. There also, I had done a, quite a lot of programming. So I think programming was the thing that I learned quite a lot with my uh, research work. Good, good. So you finished your uh, master's in science, uh, in space science and technology in 2022. Yes. Yes, sir, right? yes. And there were, uh, I think, your, your classmates uh, yes. who got selected uh, in various places. In, yes. in, do you remember their names? Yes, yes, I do remember. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are my friends. Her name is Sona and uh, Sri Lakshmi. Uh, Sona and Sri Lakshmi. I think after their selection, you connected with us. For yes. Uh, yes. So what have you been doing after completion of your master's since 2022? Uh, I, as I told before, I have I've been working on one uh, two, two projects. Right. And also, uh, I have been helping these MSc students uh, do their thesis work too, with their research work also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing for one and a half years. And I'm currently writing a paper. Okay. So hopefully it gets published. Nice. Very so, nice. So when you started thinking that you want to explore PhD like Sri Lakshmi and, and Sona? Uh, actually, when I took this subject for uh, my post graduation, I I had research in my mind. That's why I took mm -hmm. uh, a specialization in space science and technology. I wanted to do research. That's okay. why after uh, my BSc in physics, I took a specialization mm -hmm. so that I can uh, move towards this uh, field. So okay. that's why. Okay. That's the reason. So when you decided that you want to explore in the US. Uh, after, uh, uh, that will be probably after my P PG, after yeah. my pros graduation. Yeah. I thought maybe I should go abroad uh, and uh, like explore but you, further. But you did not connect last, I mean, uh, 
when Sona and uh, uh, Silakshmi and, and Sona did. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, sir. Because uh, I had my doubts whether uh, should I uh, opt for US or maybe uh, some other countries or uh, anything. I was still confused, mm -hmm. still making my decisions. Decisions, okay. I think yeah, being this online mentorship, probably you don't didn't have any doubts because of your you have your friends. No, sir. Got selected. Uh, no, no, not not because of that. Uh, yeah, it yeah. was actually because of me only. <laughs> I was stating my decision. So uh, to apply for a PhD program in the US, what examinations you took? Uh, I had uh, taken a TOEFL exam, TOEFL IBT, mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, I can have my English scores uh, according to the uh, percentage of each university. Mm -hmm. So that was my basic requirement. Yeah. So what was your score and how did you prepare? Uh, my score was 96, uh, in I think out of 120. Okay. Uh, and uh, I prepared through uh, the materials that you provided. Okay. And I learned uh, quite a lot by myself. Okay. Uh, from online uh, okay. sources, materials from YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. And I practiced a lot. That's yeah. how I prepared. Nice. Very nice. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, so when you got this selection, uh, FIT, Florida Institute of Technology, which is what is the name of the department that you going for your PhD program? Aerospace Physics and Space Sciences Department. So what's your research interest there? Sorry, sir? What is your research interest up there? Uh, that will be, uh, I talked with two professors. One professor was uh, from Atmospheric Dynamics and another professor was uh, from Space Physics. Mm -hmm. So both of the fields are uh, interesting to me. So that's what I discussed at the time of the interview. Okay, okay. nice. So starting from th this process is, is a, like, it takes some time. Shortlisting mm -hmm. universities uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, CV preparation and uh, scientific SOP, filling applications, uh, right? All kind of things. Uh, requires a lot of uh, efforts in a way, right? And uh, tell us about this this mentorship effort that you got into and where you are today. Uh, actually, I was uh, quite a lot of uh, tensed before applying because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if I would make it. <laughs> okay. So uh, that, that is the first thing that came to my mind when I applied. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, because I wasn't confident with my uh, CV and my research work. So yes, yes. Uh, still I tried my luck and I applied and uh, you had guided me through all the process, like uh, the university selections and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we, we both worked together a yes, lot. Yes. Uh, you helped me uh, quite a lot. Whenever I called, you picked up yeah. the call, <laughs> uh, even though you were busy. Yes. So uh, thank you for that, actually. <laughs> Uh, because uh, most people uh, like they don't do that so, <laughs> okay. uh, so uh, that was uh, another thing then uh, uh, after uh, my CV and uh, after we put up the uh, the university list we started think, applying uh, the question your part is also important Yes, yes. Answering questions, yeah. Yes, this questionnaire was uh, was uh, another thing. I took uh, like almost one and a half uh, weeks to complete yeah. that questionnaire uh, yes, yes. because I had to be really <laughs> sure about mm -hmm. what so I was doing. Part. So, yes. And the questionnaire uh, had me thinking also like mm -hmm. whether I should be doing this. <laughs> like so, And that made me sure like I should do this PhD. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing. Uh, then uh, we started ap applications. So after uh, that, we started the application and uh, the application process took some time till I think yes. from December 1st to January yeah. last we applied. Yeah. Then afterwards, uh, uh, we the waiting period was really uh, tough <laughs> and difficult. It's because... kind of a preparation for a PhD program like Yes. <laughs> yes, the patients, they tested our patients because yes. we got uh, some rejections also. Mm -hmm. So um, we felt down and even our parents were like, okay, you should, maybe you should try for something else <laughs> and don't wait for this. And so I after hearing that, we were, yeah. yes. 
we lost hope but you you we used to call you and ask about whether you are still confident that you will get this yes yeah yeah it takes yes, time and first yes about there yes, yes. Yeah. so when you received this offer letter fully funded uh, how did you feel what what were your emotions <laughs> I wasn't on the ground actually, to be honest, <laughs> when I got this offer. I was really happy when my parents were really happy. I called my uh, my uncles and my aunts and I told everyone. They were very excited. They were really happy. So because happy. Uh, I'm the first person from my family to go abroad yes, to the yes. US. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that is very important part. Like uh, that motivates others also in the surrounding. Yes, yes extended family and, and way beyond, I would say. I mean, many video, when, it's, when we have the discussion, it outreaches a number of students in India and beyond. And you never know who, who will get inspiration from you. That often yes. I feel probably I can also be a part of it's a wonderful initiative. PhD yes. program. Let's talk about expenses. Uh, uh, when you join us until you get selected what were total what was total expense expense um i think for the application process it was about uh, I, uh approximately 30000 maybe i'm i'm not quite sure right. 30 to uh, 40000 maybe uh so and other than that your fees was there yeah which is uh, almost 1 1 lakh yes. 1 lakh Mm. Uh, so I think it will be covered around two lakhs. Um, within two lakhs. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty much uh, true. Did you face any uh, struggle in getting a letter of recommendation? There are some students. Uh, no, sir. I didn't get any uh, Pretty uh, 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 recommendations uh, because all the teachers were familiar with me and my uh, academics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there, 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 I mean, I think now you have been three, three students. From your batch, right? Yes, yes, sir. So, it's been so did you go to the department and talk about it? How did no, you? No, sir. I, I no. didn't get any time to go there uh, because mm -hmm. it's quite far. I that's I right. have to travel almost five hours to go oh, to my so college there and study PG. Okay. Did you call them? How about that? Yes, yes. I tried calling them, but they are all busy right now. So I didn't get. I I messaged them, and they mm -hmm. were happy, and they told me congrats. Yes, congratulations. I think yes. it's a proud uh, moment for department also. Yes, that, yes. Sir. That uh, motivates, inspire juniors also. Well, yes. then you can also try. This is also a responsibility to encourage and inspire juniors. I would say. Sure, sir. Yes, yes. Let's talk about the struggle. And mm -hmm. if you are asking this question, especially to girls, that uh, the stage you, you come up to till now. What what barriers, some social barriers, some financial barriers, some other barriers that you have over, over overcame uh, till today? Uh, for me, in my in my personal experience, my parents were always supportive because uh, they wanted me to study and achieve a better position rather Good. than getting married first. Mm -hmm, because yeah. as girls, we always have that uh, pressure from our family, like getting married. Till now, uh, even even uh, recently, my uh, relatives still ask me, whether, aren't you getting married? <laughs> uh, you're this old. <laughs> okay, I But uh, when I tell them that I, I achieved a PhD and I'm going for a PhD, they are like, okay, great. That's fine. That's that's amazing. Good. Sure. And they are happy. But And they forget the marriage. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> so, so how do you convince? I think this question keeps bothering at your age mm. most of the students yes so yeah, how do you overcome uh, I used to tell them like uh, I am still studying. I want a good job mm -hmm. before getting married or before being uh, settled in life. I want a good job or, or mm -hmm. uh, I want to be somewhere in my career mm -hmm. before getting married. So my parents were like always uh, supportive. They wanted me to study. They wanted me to go higher up because coming from a Muslim family, mm -hmm. it is uh, it is much more difficult. Uh, I know pretty much. I I know. That's yes. why. So uh, yes. what's your father's uh, job? What? Who else are, are in your family? Uh, I have, my family uh, uh, is my father, my mother, and my brother, my younger brother. Uh, we we all we four were uh, in Saudi Arabia. We had he had a job there, 
Mm -hmm. But uh, after coming back, he's uh, staying here. He has some business. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. he was always very supportive about uh, me uh, going into this PhD I, field. He wanted me to do research rather I than going for any other jobs. Thank you to your, your parents for yes. this was needed. And what about yes. your younger brother? What uh, he's currently doing he's currently doing his engineering. He's uh, in his first year. Mm -hmm. in computer science so so i think you can also lead i think guide guide him probably yes then. i also wish that he does a phd like uh, me a phd is too far but maybe masters to start with yes. <laughs> it just happens i'm encouraging you we have seen so many neha is one of the cases i keep uh, talking she went uh, her younger brother went to us fully funded oh. undergraduate program uh, her cousin brother went for PhD oh. in chemistry. So yeah, so this this is like right. opening a another you know, wonderful stream that oh. uh, others follow uh, if someone gets to that perfect position. Yes, yes. that's your responsibility. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you want to say anything about? Uh, there will be students like them. They may not be as lucky as you are in terms of various really supports that you receive and they have this inspiration that you, they want to achieve something. What mm. we would like to have some message for them? I would say don't hold back. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. We'll be like uh, all the, uh, if only if we take risks, we will be able to move forward. That is what I always think. Very Without true. taking risks, you won't reach anywhere. Mm, you true. have to sacrifice something to mm. get something. Yeah, so always taking risks is very important and as girls especially mm -hmm. it's very difficult true, true. do you want to say anything about the mentorship efforts that we have been carrying on uh your mentorship uh, i think it's very good I mean, or not very good maybe excellent okay. because if if whenever I had a doubt, I used to contact you and you, he used to give me responses. Mm -hmm. And I, when I called, he used to pick up and there were always answers. Like we used to communicate. Yeah. That was always there. So whenever I had my doubts, I used to ask you. So that is the first thing I think that is most important. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. though you are busy with your uh, work, no, you still is. made time. Uh, that is one thing. And uh, there wasn't any uh, any doubts like uh, after I got in like after we communicated I hadn't mm -hmm. any I hadn't had any doubts regarding uh, this uh, security or anything like that. Oh yes, yes. Well, thank you. Yeah, we are still waiting for uh, I twenty. Okay. Yes. Once I twenty uh, uh, comes in, then then visa processing will follow up. There will not be any issue. Then you end up in, in early August. To the US yes. start your uh, PhD that what you want to <laughs> Yes. So Afna, thank you so much. Eh? We're gonna stay yes, in the We're gonna uh, move things further. Okay. Enjoy your time. Okay. Bye -bye. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Bye.